Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for the patience and hanging in there while I am getting over this sickness that I have had. You might be able to tell, and if you've seen on the Twitter, I've been tweeting out, hey, today I might go live, today I might not, but we're getting towards the end of it, right? It's feeling a lot better, and I'm glad to be able to bring you this video today because there's not a lot going on in FIFA at the moment, but we're kind of just waiting on summer stars, right? It's like this content this week is kind of just limping us along until that summer stars promo that is gonna be here on Friday actually arrives. I know there's a lot of hype for this, but again, right now this week, it's just kind of decent content fodders through the roof. So it's like, if you're doing any SBCs, you're kind of overpaying in a sense. We'll talk about that as well. But hey, EA Sports actually did kind of listen to the video that I posted a couple days ago about price ranges, man, because they updated price ranges on 84 and 85, I think some of the other fodder cards as well. These 85s were extinct at 18K, and a lot of them have had price range updates over the 20,000 coin mark, 25K for Koke. Uh, so a lot of these cards have definitely gone up. Like Gulashi was an 18K price range card, now he's up to 23K. So GG's to EA, they updated those a little bit late in my opinion, but hey, at least they did it, and now those cards are more on the market. Now, of course, they dropped a little bit yesterday because the content was just... It was just all right, right? We all, all we had was a new objective and the James Rodriguez SBC, which in my opinion, this SBC is a W, right? If you want to upgrade a James Rodriguez card with five-star skills, I'm going to get this SBC done. It is out for a week. And here's the thing. I've been talking about this for the past few days. Add this to the list of SBCs that you might want to do after the fodder market comes down. Because again, with Summer Stars coming, I think it's going to be a lot of supply on the mark. I'm going to be looking towards doing Sergio Ramos and this James Rodriguez SBC once the fodder comes down because I think there's a lot of supply that is going to be coming in on Friday. Now, I think today with it being a Tuesday, usually it's not a day where they update the loading screen, but maybe since they've had the same exact loading screen for the past three days, maybe EA Sports will give us a little bit of an extra hint. I don't know. I mean, this literally has not changed in the past three days. So hopefully today it does and we get some sort of, uh, I don't know, like maybe a small hint of what cards could be in Summer Stars. There's a, obviously a lot of potential for cards that could be in and we hope that they absolutely juice the ratings. But that's kind of what I feel like, even being away from the game a little bit, that's what I feel like everybody's just hoping for and looking towards right now. Now I've been doing a little bit of trading on the side. I got some AWARs in the low 200 range because I thought that his, his sell-off from the French weekend league was just too much. I'm trying to get these guys out at 220, and I got, not lucky, but I was a little worried today. I sold a few of them at 220 where I could, a couple at a 217 as well. I was a little worried yesterday that, that they might bring an updated weekend league plus objective for a new nation, which they in fact did not do, uh, but they did add a silver summer objective. So again, our weekend league plus objectives stay true to non promo weekends because obviously we know we're getting a promo this Friday and we don't have that weekend league plus objective so that again stays true that they don't like to crisscross with those things and have them going on in the same weekend which by the way I was only able to get 11 wins I was feeling so bad Sunday night I said I was going to get to 15 uh, and I just couldn't do it man I was feeling so bad but we got our 11 we got our silver one I think I got um Sushek from the um, the seven win player pick. So, I mean, it was worth it, right? It was worth it. I still had a lot of time to play weekend league uh, and I was able to get my 11 wins. But speaking of what else is going on in this game, holy smokes, what a day of the Euros it was yesterday with the Croatia-Spain game and of course the France-Switzerland game. I was able to watch all of those in their entirety. Perks of, uh, you know, being on the couch, right? Anyways, these cards are dropping like mad. Paul Pogba still dropping 837,000 coins. One thing that I'm noticing 100% with these Path to Glory cards is that Team 2, and this is not, I mean, this should be obvious if you think about it from a preview pack standpoint, Team 2 is so much more supplied than Team 1. If I look at the amount of pages of supply on this Pogba as he keeps getting listed and relisted and such, it's just insane. And then if you go to Griezmann, which I know Griezmann's a more expensive card, and... Um, you know, he was a part of Team 1, though, and that's, to me, it seems like there's a lot less supply when I was searching this. Wow, he's 950, 948 for Griezmann. I mean, the downfall here is just, it's it's crazy. It's just a snowball effect. These cards that are no longer live and upgradable, 
I mean, Griezmann was 3 million coins when he first came out, and now he's 950k. So I think there will be a low point for these cards 100% because these are still better than TOTS items. And for especially a lot of these guys that don't have team of the season cards, these guys are still really, really good and really in demand, especially with the French and the Barcelona links here for a guy like Griezmann and for Pogba, right? Pogba had a really good tournament, and I know that his price is way down, but this is like the best Pogba card in the game, obviously, the best one that we've seen in a while. So that's 100% of price that I would look at. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the Joao Felix, right? Joao Felix went down to 265, 260 at his absolute lowest, has rebounded back up to 280. And Wijnaldum was down to 210 and is now back up to 248. And I think that with a guy like Griezmann and Pogba being even more rare than those PTG cards that are, you know, more packable and um, lower rating, um, you know, Wijnaldum was a lower rating before the upgrade happened. But I think that these Griezmann and Pogba cards will hit a low and they will bounce back because that, that's how it always happens, right? With a panic sell, you hit a low and then you come back. Now, also what is very interesting to see is like two days before these games are being played, these cards start to rise up uh, into the game, right? Acuna, take a look at this rise. Now, right now, as I'm recording this, Argentina is playing 770K for this guy. He was 520K on Sunday and it just goes to show how much these cards rise up. The day before his game yesterday, rising from 600,000 coins up to 712. And I was kind of looking in to see if I could snag myself a Phil Foden before that happened. But I kind of got left in the dust today because I was trying to buy a Phil Foden at like 570. And I got a little too greedy, man. I should have just bought him at 600 because look where he is now. He's up to 650. So I was trying to get him around the content drop. I was hoping there was going to be some content that would be, you know, pretty hype. Get him around 570 and then hope that he kept rising. This guy's on the move, man. This guy's on the move. He's flying. Uh, I think maybe Havertz might not be up that much yet. Havertz is 169, so that's up a little bit. Um, Serge Nabry is up like 40K as well. So it's one thing you're seeing is two days before, you can kind of buy these cards before their game if they're still at a lower point, and people are kind of ride them up into the game if they're still live items. So tomorrow or today's games with Nabry and, and Foden going head-to-head -head and Havertz as well with the Germany versus England game. We're going to be great watches. I'm really excited about the football today after the insane football that happened yesterday. So I'm going to keep an eye on the Squeezeman. I'm going to keep an eye on the Pogba because I think that there might be able to be some money made with those cards. Now, of course, Llorente went on a wild ride today. This 879 was actually his price on the market when Croatia scored that. Well, I guess when uh, the own goal was scored with Pedri and... Um, you and I, Simon, um, I guess that's when I was checking his price. And of course, as Spain came back and won that game, his price rebounded heavily. But crazy fluctuation there. And again, Griezmann was 1.8 mil earlier today. He's literally nearing the halfway point, 50% drop in price, which is nuts. So again, right now, a lot of stuff that's happening on this game is just people are looking at these PTG cards. And as I take a look at the rest of the market, a lot of these prices are pretty low. They're like the weekend league sell-off hit hard. I mean, Neymar 7.9, that's up a little bit. Depay 428, Ben Yedder 789. I mean, Marquinhos has bounced back a decent amount right there. Bamba is so low. Klaus is low. It's that, that French weekend league really took a toll on a lot of people. Uh, some of your La Liga links might be going up a bit because of the Sergio Ramos. Like Varane was 1.7 at one point. He's now 192. Jordi Alba is a card that we talked about on like a Sunday night buy time because we knew that people were going to be doing Ramos and getting Ramos done during this week with rewards and such and just grinding player picks. So you can see that Sunday night, he was down 366K, 370K on the Sunday time frame, and then rose up into Monday. And now he's over 400,000 coins. So I think the same thing happened with foot birthday Furlan Mendy as well. That was a card that I was keeping my eye on. Um, as we went out today, because I was trying to get this guy at 650, and I think I could have got him there, but I missed it. Is he, yeah, he's 700K now. So I was expecting this card to rise with the Ramos link. So if we have any more panic coming out this week, you know, Tuesdays have been a day where sometimes EA release code and they drop some stuff in the game, like one of those upgrade SBCs. Now, we've already had two player picks that were on the weekend with the TOTS or PTG player picks. Uh, now, I did both of those. I got Nani in the first one, and I forget who I got in the second. Oh, Paredes is who I got in the second one. Um, but of course, player picks don't have to be added to the code. So if we don't have any code added, I still feel like there'd be some sort of casino gamble SBC is what we call these, some sort of like upgrade pack SBC that could be coming today on Tuesday. Um, the icon, 
the player pick icon went away. I don't know if that one will get replaced because we have this repeatable one that is out right now. Uh, other than that, maybe just another player SBC. I mean, the Rakitic SBC is expiring. And again, as you see a lot of this stuff, one day, 16 hours, three days, a lot of this stuff is going to be expiring by Friday when the whole Summer Stars promo is going to be starting. I think Friday is a big day for this game. It's going to supply the market a lot with stuff um, because people are saving up packs. I mean, I'm even saving up packs right now. There's nothing to pack. And of course, we've got, oh, a kit pack. Nice. Thank you, EA. Um, but there's just a lot of hype building for Summer Stars that is coming this Friday. So I hope EA continues to build that hype. I hope we have a loading screen. Again, if you're trading right now, the PTG cards are the way to go or just open bids on anything else out of packs. That's the way to go. And SBC fodder is down a little bit, but I really expect it to start coming down this weekend as we have all that supply coming in on the weekend. But yeah, right now, honestly, a lot of the hype in FIFA is just with PTG cards and uh, the Euros and these games that are happening IRL. Now, the next upgrade for these, these cards will be on Friday. Again, it'll probably show here on the main loading screen. You'll see Path to Glory upgrades are now live, and we'll have guys like uh, Hazard, I think, getting another upgrade. If Acuna and Argentina win tonight, he'll get an upgrade. Um, and I think Llorente might be doing an upgrade as well. I think that might have been Spain's third win. I have to go double check to see. Par my Paredes would get upgraded as well. Um, and then, of course, if England were to win today, I think that's why there's some hype on Chillwell and Phil Foden. Like right now, I've got two Chillwells that I bought at 63K, and I'm pretty sure the guy is like 120,000 coins. So I might actually just take the 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 safe route here. And even though I'm kind of rooting for Harry Kane and my guys, I'm just going to take the safe route probably and sell my Chillwell pregame tomorrow and take basically my doubling my money from 60K all the way to 120. That's a great investment. I will take that any day of the week. So I mean, yeah, maybe he goes to 175 if they win, but I'll take I'll take my cash, if you will, on that investment. So I'll take that. It's pretty solid. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm trading right now at the moment. Now, it looks like, I'm just noticing this one second, this Ramos SBC price has gone down a decent amount. I think that's with without that extra demand. There wasn't a pack SBC that happened yesterday. No player pick, no upgrade pack. You're seeing that Ramos SBC get a little bit cheaper because fodder has dropped some on the market, like 83s are down to 5,000 coins apiece. Um, if we continue to have tradable daily SBCs, that might help the supply a little bit. But I really feel like a lot of people, even with rewards this week, are going to be saving their packs because they know that what coming, what is coming on Friday could be pretty special. So hopefully EA gave us some hints about what, what that's going to be. And again, today on Tuesday, I hope the content continues rolling. Hopefully I'll be live streaming today as well. Might just be a short one, but keep posted to the Twitter. That link is down below in the description uh, if you want to get involved there. But thanks for watching this video today, boys. Again, it's kind of like a slow week leading up in Summer Stars. So we'll talk about it all as we get closer and closer to the day. Thank you for all the well wishes as I'm recovering and stuff as well. That means a lot as I'm on the mend um, from this. So thank you guys for watching again. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been an Eighth Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.